Alright, hi guys, so today we're going to be building this cool wooden hand plane made again from scrap wood. So um, let's get to building it. So we have our two angled blocks and I think this is about a 60 degree angle or something so it's going to be like a high angle smoothing plane. We, and then we have our two pieces of oak like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just make sure everything's fitting nicely, everything's working okay and then we're going to do is, now I just left a very small gap in here and we're going to probably have to widen that later with a file. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna probably um, drill a hole through here in both of these pieces. So I'm actually gonna clamp these together, drill a hole, and put a dowel through there. And that's where the actual wedge will squeeze up against. But uh, it'll all make sense now in a second, so yeah. Uh... All right, so here guys, the reason I actually edited this short is because I just dragged on a bit. This ended up being like three minutes long. So I just applied glue to both sides of the mahogany, hammered the dowel through both of them, and as you can see, I'm just clamping it all together. What you do is just flush cut this dowel. Here I'm just using my rasp to give a nice smooth shape the wood so that way it's nice and soft to hold when you're playing it. Well guys you all know that I'm not afraid to show my mistakes and of course knowing it's me I made another one. So um, basically what happened was one of the sides of the mahogany this side had finish on it and I didn't realise that so when I was rasping away I, it kind of just fell apart and I realised uh, what's called there was actually wax on that side of it so I was obviously practicing a finish on it before. So it was no big deal, I just cleaned it up with a plane, the mahogany, uh, put some glue on and clamping it up again. And I'll come back to this in an hour or so and uh, start working again. So uh, no big deal. I've been rasping away. Now I have a very uh, rough rasp. So as you can see, it leaves it quite rough. But it's nice to actually feel something that feels nice to hold on to. So what I'm now going to do is sand this all down. And then all we'll have to do is make the wedge to hold the blade in place and then we'll be cut done. out. Um, I couldn't even tell you what angle it is. It's about that. I basically kept uh, cutting it at different angles to where it, what I did was I basically put this in, cut a block the same width and until I got it to where it was an angle where when I pushed down it would hold it in and uh, that's what I have it here so with a mallet that would hold it nice and tight in so I'm just going to shape this make it look a bit nicer give it a sanding and then we'll put the finish on uh, so guys here it is as you can see I just made this a bit more decorative looking I have to say I'm really happy with the way this turned out so what we're going to do is we're going to apply you know what it is wood linseed oil beeswax finish and it's actually great for a plane because the beeswax to get, make it a nice smooth surface so it should glide along wood very nice and easily so I'm just going to apply the finish here remember as I always say you don't need to be light with this you can really just rub it in and try and, try and get on the yeah, inside we're just going to get our paper and give it a real nice polishing Alright, so as you can see guys, here is our finished plane. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you me using it because this plane is very bad, so I need to sharpen it. But don't worry because you will see it in some way. I hope you enjoyed today's project. I have to say I really like the look of it. And after I sharpen it, I'm sure you'll see it in plenty of my videos. So please comment, rate and subscribe because every subscriber counts. And I thank you so much for watching. And remember, a clean shop is a safe shop. Thanks for watching.